Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Chris, I'm an Aussie GP and today in my Health Issues 101 series we're going to be talking about Crohn's disease which is a type of inflammatory bowel disease. Crohn's disease is an autoimmune inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract where a patient may have lesions from the mouth to the anus, like I said, along the whole gastrointestinal tract. Typically, patients with Crohn's disease will have the majority of their inflammations and ulcers and whatnot in their small intestine and their large intestine, causing an inflammation and ulceration that reduces the ability of the body to absorb nutrients and water and so on. There is no real clear cause for Crohn's disease, though it is autoimmune, so having another autoimmune condition can increase your risk or increases the incidence of Crohn's disease, and having a family history is also a risk factor. Other than genetics, other causative factors can include smoking, diet, and pollution. Crohn's disease is usually classified into the anatomical area that it is, so you may have gastroduodenal colitis being in the stomach and the duodenum, or the duodenum, I've heard it called as well, which is the uh, transit part between the stomach and the small intestine. You can have ileitis, where it mainly affects the ileum, or the small intestine. You can have ileocolitis, so the ileum and part of the large intestine. And you can have jejunoileitis, where it only affects the jejunum. Symptoms of Crohn's disease vary. However, a patient may experience nothing but they also can experience diarrhea, which may include blood, cramping, nausea, fevers, weight loss, appetite loss, fatigue, and rectal bleeding. With Crohn's disease and other types of inflammatory bowel disease, there are also extra gastrointestinal manifestations of Crohn's disease. So patients may have red irritated eyes, red lumps on their skin, a skin rash, ulcers in their mouth, swelling or painful joints, kidney stones, changes to their gallbladder and liver, and even an increased risk of osteoporosis in the bones. Patients with Crohn's disease may also have nutritional deficiencies because of that reduced ability to absorb that I talked about before. These in turn have their own symptoms, which I won't go into right now. Investigations for Crohn's disease, as always, starts with a really good history and examination by your GP and may include blood tests to look for nutritional deficiencies and other causes of your pains and your discomforts and the bleeding, stool tests to rule out any active infections or other causes, and we can also, and we can also detect inflammation through stool tests. But ultimately, patients with suspected Crohn's disease and other inflammatory bowel diseases need to be referred to a gastroenterologist or a general surgeon who does endoscopy and colonoscopy. In this, we can see very specific types of lesions from the mouth through to the anus, and biopsies can be taken to confirm the diagnosis of Crohn's disease. The goal of treating once we've diagnosed Crohn's disease is to achieve remission and then maintain remission. There is no cure for Crohn's disease, but people can live very fulfilling lives with no flares of Crohn's disease once they're diagnosed, in most cases. There are several types of specialist medications that we can use to reduce the inflammation and reduce the body's autoimmune capabilities of destroying its own cells, which can include steroids, aminosalicates, immunomodulators, biological therapies, and sometimes we use antibiotics as well because they can be concurrent infections. Essentially, it's a really specialized area of medicine, which will not be covered in the 101. <laughs> so that's it, guys. That's what is Crohn's disease? What does it look like? Who gets it? How is it investigated? And how is it treated? I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them below. And let me know what you want me to cover next. Like if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.